Hi, I wanted to show you how to make a card. First, we're going to make some leaves and then I'll put one together for you. So, just use the punch to punch out a white leaf and then just use an ink to ink it up. You can do it as hard or as dark as you like, a different ink. So you get the point. I use the color box one. I really like these small sizes. So then you let the leaf dry. I have one here that's already pre-made and dried. Then you make the veins on the leaf. Just draw the lines as you would see on the actual leaf. I have these molding tools that really help me that I use all the time and it really makes it look real okay so I don't know if you can see that then I bend it up and um, take another ink either orange or red or something to give it a little more and then just go on the lines just a little bit to give it the fall color since it's fall so and then just the tips a little bit on the tips to make it a little more not just plain green since it's fall colors <clears throat> so there's the leaf Not sure it'll focus any closer, but so that's how I make the leaves. Then I'm gonna put together a card. So I prefer to use the five by seven pre-cut. I just fold them and buy a whole stack of them. <clears throat> then I cut out out of the red paper. I cut out um using the this die this group scrapbooking made simple dies and it's got the actual die that cuts the square and then it has a separate one that does the little dashes on it so that's how i made this you can see it better on the white so it's got the little dashes on there you just line it up and use your cutter it depends on what you have I use the big shot big kick one um, so I cut that out then I have this sheet it has had some words that I just said odd and stuff that I didn't want I wanted something more of a Thanksgiving theme so I covered that up with a brown strip and it's got little leaves so it kind of gives a little bit of extra edge to it so I'm going to glue that together. And I like using um, the sequin tape or the tape holds the best. I haven't had any problems of it coming off. So you just put it all around the edge. Don't cover up the little uh, cutouts, otherwise you can see your glue and it's not going to be pretty. And I like this tape because it tears easily. You don't have to cut it with scissors, you can just rip it right off. Peel it off real quick. I'm gonna put a little bit of strip in the middle just so it doesn't start bulking up. So it glues in the middle too. Okay, so now we just line all of this up. And 
and glue it right on. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I gotta find the edge where I finished now. <laughs> there it goes. I really like these polka dots on the back, but I'm gonna use the other side today. I got this paper on a really good deal because uh, my local store had 70% off of fall stuff already, so. That was nice. And I love doing cards for actual Thanksgiving because that's the holiday that's coming up and we always need to be grateful for things. I don't think we're, we say thanks enough in our lives. We tend to constantly want more and more and don't always say thank you enough. Sometimes if one edge is too hard to peel off, I'll just do it on the other one, like that. Ta-da! And if anything's hanging off, I just turn it to the inside so it looks all beautiful and you can't see any edges. Okay, so now we can align this up. I absolutely love making cards. Started two or three years ago. And I can't stop. It's so beautiful, so nice. Okay, I'm not gonna stick this on quite yet. I'm just gonna lay it down so I know where it is. Um, this was part of the paper. It, it came with the different ones. I'll show you guys later, but um, that was part of it. And I didn't want all the other words, but I just cut this one out and I'm gonna use this. So here are my leaves. And like you can see on this one, I did orange in the middle and the ends are actually pinkish with this one. It's sparkly, so I like it. I'm gonna do two leaves together with a little bit of this in the middle. I'm gonna lay it down and then I'm gonna cut it out. Make it easier for me. I glue it on, I'm sorry, they already cut out. By the way, I cut it out with Kaiser Craft uh, die, this one right here. So that's where all the little ones are gonna come from. And then this was a punch that leaves I showed you how to make. So they're a little different. Okay, so pretty much this is how I'm gonna layer it on. on. So I'm going to use some glue to glue these on. Just like that. And you have to be careful on these. I bought these little things and I really like them. They're very nice. I just put the glue in there and then go from there. Of, um, I just add more and more glue and use them over and over from the bigger bottles. That way I can reuse them. But cards are so much fun little time of cutting everything out but when you get it all ready it just comes together and you feel so accomplished plus sometimes you constantly have to come up with new ideas of what you want to see and then if there's paper you don't quite like everything you see on there that kind of thing so it's gonna fun but you make it your own is the beautiful thing but I <clears throat> really think it's amazing how it comes together and you have this beautiful thing it's a, definitely a gift on itself of itself where you can 
you give it to somebody or you see somebody else really enjoying it and you just go, oh, I'm so glad I made it. I did it. So if you want to try, definitely go for it. Sometimes I use um, glue uh, dots. Sometimes, I'm sorry, <laughs> accidentally bumped into the video camera there. But, um, I think I had them laying out originally different, but this is how it's going to be now. I think it's beautiful no matter which way I make it. I think it's just, these are just fall leaves just like on the ground. You see them everywhere right now. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to lift that up a little bit. Stick that on there. And then I'm going to go back to the tape and stick this on. Hello. No, I'm probably going to do the pop-up dots, but I don't have that with me right now. So I'll do that later when the baby wakes up right now. He's